Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I decided to come in and say hi and also show y'all some of my most favorite adorable products. I've got some products you guys. I'm so happy because I'm ready to declutter all my old makeup and now I have some new makeup. And so in this video, I want to talk about some of my favorite products as of last month and also the current month. Um, Y'all been really enjoying some of these products, so I'm going to share with you some of the products because I haven't did a haul over here. I haven't really, well, I just uploaded a haul video, but I haven't showed y'all all the products. And I'm not going to today. I'm just going to show you some of the products that I've used that I can say these products are so good like i picked out the right type of cosmetics i am really really excited so to show y'all these products now the first thing um is a product that i use today and i already love this product this is the pro primer hd um, high definition eyeshadow primer by LA Girl. Y'all, at first, I thought this product was going to be too moisty on the lids and cause creasing. It did not. Once I put this on, I was able to blend it out with my brush and it just dried up to a matte finish. Y'all, look at this. Like, it is so nice as a base. And it highlights my eyelids. So when I go in with the eyeshadows, it's bold, it's vivid. Look at this shimmer shade here. It's still as shimmer as it was this morning. Um, the color into the crease in the outer V looks amazing. So my eyeshadow has lasted, lasted for a long time. Okay, we're talking about over six hours now. Okay, so I'm really, really pleased with this eyeshadow um, <clears throat> primer and yeah i look forward to repurchasing a, another one just so it, when i run out of this one i will have another uh, product but this is so good because it dries up to a matte finish and it is very vibrant so not real vibrant but it's somewhat vibrant and so when you go in with your eyeshadows your eyeshadows are going to hold on to this product and actually the eyeshadow is going to hold on to this primer and it's going to be very uh, bold and vivid. So I like that. So this is new for me. Never tried it, although I know that this is not a new product. It's been out for a while, but it is a good one. If you have not tried it, you should because this product did not crease my eyeshadows. As you can see here, no creasing. I'm very, very pleased with this eyeshadow primer. It is really, really that good. So I'm not just saying that, but it's really good. The next thing, oh my God, y'all know how I love the Makeup Revolution, what is it, brow gel. Um, I like it and it's been doing what it's supposed to do. The only thing that I can say about this brow gel here is that it does make the brows like really crispy like or really what is it really really rough like i didn't mind it because it actually holds on or my brow product that i choose to apply onto my brows holds on to it so i didn't mind it but it's a good gel but i've always talked about the nyx brow gel which i still put it way up there it is a wonderful brow gel but y'all i have discovered one that's better if you look at my brows look y'all you can see my brow hairs and that's something that is so hard for me because y'all know if you have been seeing my makeup looks when I do my brows, it's just like I draw them on. Even though I have some brow hairs there, <laughs> not a lot, but you know, when I draw, 
or put on my brow product. You never get to see my brow hairs. Well, with this particular product that I got, look at here, you can see my brow hairs. And it's a combination of two brow products. Look at my brows. You can see my brow hairs. I even like the color of this brow gel cream that I use and the applicator. Um, I love it. I just think my brows look so good. Ugh, I'm just overwhelmed because it's the combination of two products. Okay, so I got two new favorites that I have to say that actually beats the NYX Brow Gel. Okay, I thought I'd never say that, um, but I found one. Okay, so the one that I like right now that actually helped me to get this brow hair lift, as you can see, my brows are not just going straight out like this. You can see where I've Push them up with this brow gel and they have stayed in place for over six hours y'all for over six hours like look at my brow hairs y'all know I have very small amount of brow hairs <laughs> so for it to grab these hairs and actually uh, the brow cream just filled in those areas that is sparse like I am so excited to tell y'all these products. But anyway, the first one is the Nika K, uh, N I C K A, y'all. K. New York Brow Fixer. It's the Super Mega Extreme Hold Brow Gel. And it's exactly that. Because my brows are still like up in that position, okay, that where I grab the spoolie and pull them up. I'm so happy because my brow hairs look thicker, even though my brows isn't that thick, okay? And that brow cream that I'm going to tell y'all about is how, it's what filled in my brows. But this is the prep, okay? This is what keeps the brow hairs up, and therefore my brow hairs look thicker, because they look longer, right? So, this is it. Y'all know how I love the Nika K New York uh, products. So, this is the Brow Fixer. Oh, so good. Yep, like Y'all, look at that. You can see why I used it today, right there, that print. But look at it. It's so strong and extreme hold like it's not coming out of there y'all it's clear but it is absolutely amazing and i love it and you just heard me on why i love it and why i put this um above the nyx brow gel <laughs> okay because this is really good if you have sparse blonde brown or just sparse blunt brows and you want something to um something to use to lift those brows up and especially fine brows as well like my brows is fine they're sparse and they're um slightly blunt as well let me tell you this right here will get every one of your hairs and absolutely Whichever way you comb them, when you go through it with your spoolie, when you pull the brow hairs up with that spoolie, you're going to get that brow lift there. And I love it. And it has been holding on for over six hours. So this is what did that, okay? So that is like one of my favorite products from Nika K New York. I love this. All right, so the brow gel cream that filled in my brows that um, is sparse in areas. Oh my goodness. And the color here is perfect for summer. This is my summertime brow color. This is actually quite this is more like my natural y'all this is natural brow color here. So this is like my natural brow color and looks so good. Oh, it looks so good. Tell me that my brows don't look good. 
my brows look amazing the color is great um my brows is filled in where they are thin i love the way this look but anyway let me tell y'all the product this is the once again my favorite brand nika k uh new york eyebrow gel cream this is in the shade brown okay and so what is so unique about this is because first it filled in every sparse area um it is a perfect color for my brows okay and the applicator okay let me show y'all so on this side you have your eyebrow brush can you believe this okay you have your eyebrow brush here the kind that is arched so it's perfect to go in and you know line it up if you want to and then make those natural like brow strokes or whatnot or just fill in the sparse areas it's perfect because it's like arched okay and then guess where you get the brow cream right here on the bottom this is your cream love it so you have the cream right here on the bottom of it right there that's the brow cream and then you just use your brow brush on top and you dip it in there and then you just hold on to this and it just makes everything so easy because you got both things here you got your brush you have your brow cream gel cream and all you do is just go on in and do your thing okay as far as filling in the brows or whatnot arching the brows whatever you do this is so convenient i love this this is already on the top of my list of favorite things by nika k new york i love this product so good that's what i have on my brows right now amazing love it you guys so yeah love love those products so good okay so i'm just looking at my makeup here because i uploaded a video to instagram today and i kind of gave y'all a look at some of my new makeup and all and um not giving any details or anything it was a quick video but i got a good bit of new makeup and i'm happy to have these products because once i get ready to do my fashion in a little while because i am so i am missing my fashion videos right now <laughs> i'm missing it so much but i'm really getting things together and just putting things together on how i'm going to do everything so y'all stay tuned but anyways y'all the next product by the same brand nika k y'all this is what i have on my eyes right now this lovely neutral highlighted neutral um eyeshadow look i love this this is perfect for every day or just for an evening out but i really do think this is a beautiful eyeshadow look and this is by nika k this is the 40 um classic perfect colors eyeshadow palette this is your basic everyday neutral eyeshadow palette you've got 40 eyeshadow palettes or eyeshadows to choose from there's 40 shades so so beautiful you guys and very pigmented you've got some shades for daytime you got some shades for it over in the evening like look at that look at the shades there isn't those cute you got some golden shades over here you have like these plum white shades they're all different kind of shades of bronze tones just the perfect bronzy or neutral everyday shadows you guys so i really really like this palette and this is what i use today i use this on my lid that shimmer uh, that shimmer shade and then into my crease i believe i use this one i use this one here and also this shade right there 
yeah, those are the two shades that I use. So, and then over there in the corner, I did use um, this one here. Okay, so I use all three of those tones, you guys, but I also use another eyeshadow or another item to deepen up the crease. So I will create a crease for myself. But y'all, this eyeshadow palette is so nice. It's already a favorite of mine. I this this I will always use all the time because this is like every day, like Monday through Friday type of palette. And even on the weekend, if I have somewhere to go and I just want a very beautiful bronzy or a nice bold bronze eyeshadow look this is it okay or a golden type of bronzy eyeshadow look this would be pretty and even if you want to go for like a pearlescent type of look you can use some of these tones down here so it's just so so pretty because i can think of so many eyeshadow um looks to actually create with this palette because there's 40 shades in the palette so y'all i'm so happy to have that oh my gosh that is such a good palette and i love it you guys so the other eyeshadow or the other product that i use just to deepen up my um my corners here as you can see just to deepen it up just a little bit i had some shadows in there but i wanted to try these powders out because they're bronzers i got them as bronzers but they are pressed powders and you know you can do that you guys i'm pretty sure all of you know that you can use like pressed powders and things like that as eyeshadows or whatnot like you know that. So I used today, and I'm going to show y'all some of the shades that I got. I used this shade here, which is called Tawny Tan. No, I use this as my bronzer. If you're wondering like what bronzer that I use, it's so beautiful. It's the perfect bronzer for my skin tone. I really, really like this, and it's just absolutely amazing. And it's called Tony Tan, Tony Tan. It is gorgeous. And this is the Zuri Flawless Pressed Powder. It's just the perfect bronzer, y'all. Like, look at that. Just the best natural everyday bronzer because i like bronzer on an everyday basis not just whenever i like it on an everyday type of basis whenever i want to wear makeup i want bronzer so this will be nice as a natural bronzer color but this is a pressed powder so and i have some powders that do uh go with my skin tone that i can use to add on top of my foundation so but this is this one here is my natural bronzer shade and i really like it it went on smooth as you can tell it blended in very nicely you can tell over here on this side over here blended in very nice on my cheeks and on uh, underneath my chin here and on my nose see how my like some of y'all say, okay, the bronzer, you know, you love the bronzer. Okay, listen, I love what I love, but if you look on my nose, the bronze lines and all that stuff is not so bold. So this blended in very, very nice, and it went really, really good with my skin undertone, okay? I think that's the thing. With bronzers, I feel like you have to kind of get the right type of bronzers for your skin undertone for it to look very natural, but yet... You can still tell you have on a bronzer, but it just kind of goes really good with your undertone. And this one does. And this is in Tony Tan, okay? It's just so good, okay? So, the color that I use, you guys, in the corners of my eyes is this one. Because I got every shade because I got these for, like, I think I got this for... All of these were a dollar when I purchased them. So, uh, using my points. So, the color that I use to deepen up my corners here, I use the shade Hot Cocoa. Um, so, it's by the same brand, Zuri Flawless Press 
it's the pressed powder um i love it because it is the perfect shade for that for days when i just want to put a bronzer tone into my crease and just a little mascara or if i want to do the contour really bold and beautiful or whatever or if i want to really just put on if i just want to go for a bronzy look this is really really pretty once again it's in hot cocoa but also there is this tone called blush brown this is really really pretty this looks nice as a blush but this is another one here that i have that i can use and it just goes for different looks or if I want a different type of um, bronzer into the crease or whatnot, and I have this one in tender brown, this one is also just as beautiful. I mean, I got all of them because y'all know, if you don't know, you should know that I love uh, bronzers. I've always have from the time I started doing YouTube. I love it. I don't, I don't never get enough of bronzers okay because i use it every time i put on makeup so yeah that's that's some of the shades i have some more um that actually matches my skin tone but i'm not going to show y'all all of it i'm just giving y'all an idea of some of these new fabulous products another thing i want to mention is these amazing eyeshadows here um, these eyeshadows I got from Amazon.com and they're by the brand called O-U-L-A-C. Um, yeah, they look like this and they, they kind of remind you of the uh, color tattoo by Maybelline, but these are so much better. They're not like really dry and hard. Y'all know, I used to buy all of them every time they had... A new collection would come out with different colors. If I would look over there for those things all the time. I loved them. But they would dry out so quick. But y'all, they this brand right here, this is so soft. When you look at that color, do y'all see that? That is so pretty. This is in the shade Unforgettable. It is so beautiful. I can't wait, wait to use this because I was going to use this today. And I thought I'm going to wait and use it another day. So, yeah, you guys, this is one of the shades. And then um, they're very creamy, by the way. Let me show you. Like, I haven't even swatched this, but I'm going to today. Look, do you see how creamy that is? Like, it's not rough and tough. Like, look at that. Look at that tone and look at the shade there. Like, look how bold that is. Okay, and it can get even stronger. The more you press in there a little bit, the stronger the color or the bolder the color is. So, y'all, that is so beautiful. I got that tone today. I had to order some more. I got one of these and I end up buying six. Okay, so that's how much I love these. Then this one here is like this hot pink that came in. This is uh, Pink Lady. Y'all look at that tone. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look how gorgeous that is. <sighs> I've got to swatch it even though I haven't yet. But y'all, this is so pretty. Look how smooth it is. It's soft and smooth. It has this like little flecks of glitter in there. Like, look at that. Oh, my goodness. You look at that color there. So beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to create an eyeshadow look using that one. Because you know I love those hot pink shades as well as red tone. That's what I wish they had was a red tone color. But they do not have one. I hope they bring out a red tone because I think red tone eyeshadows and even hot pink tones look really good when you have brown eyes. I really do think so. But anyways, y'all, these are some amazing um, eyeshadows, cream eyeshadows that is so affordable on Amazon, okay? And then, let me show y'all a couple more products. Um, oh, yeah, my concealer. My concealer did not, like, get into my fine lines. Um, the setting powder... I thought had a yellow undertone to it, but it doesn't. 
So I feel like I'm gonna have to repurchase the powder that I use. Um, I'm not gonna talk about it. When I first put it on, it looked fine, but now over in the evening, I don't know. I have to just keep trying it out. I just used it today, so I'm not gonna say too much about the setting powder underneath my eyes because I did bake with this new setting powder but the concealers are so great I really didn't need to set the concealers this is by the same brand y'all I love this brand Azuri uh, Flawless but it is a BB cream concealer yes BB cream concealer okay so when i put this on it looks so natural y'all and so beautiful y'all know that i love these concealers here by the same brand they just blend right on into the skin these do too this is the bb cream concealer and this one is just the perfect concealer okay um that has that nice applicator okay so easy to apply very neat very nice and this one just comes in your typical like um type of one this is in light to medium this is the one i use today and y'all this i only use like two dabs of it and blended it out with my beauty blender and y'all i really didn't even need um a setting powder even with this concealer here you really don't even need a setting powder it just blends right into the skin it's just so good I've used this brand before I even started doing YouTube like I said this I've been buying this brand before I was doing YouTube and way back like way back <laughs> like um, I used to go to the beauty supply stores all the time in my 20s and even in my teens okay so i know this brand very well so it's a really good brand and i feel like it's enough um it just doesn't get enough i guess enough attention because it's really good and it's an inexpensive brand but anyways i got light to medium and then i got dark and then i got uh very dark so i could do some contouring or bronzing and all that and also conceal as well so yeah you guys I'm very excited to show y'all those in a video sometime another I don't know when but eventually I will show y'all these products as I put them on um, another thing um, I want to mention I'm going to mention two more products I guess um, this right here I tried a little bit but I didn't try enough but um, I also got by that brand Zuri Flawless Pressed, not the pressed powder, but uh, sorry. Let me find the one, the cream to powder. Uh, so I did get a foundation by them. This is the cream to powder. And here it is right here. So when you put your hands in it, it's like a cream, but it dries up to a powder. So this is a foundation. This one is in the shade Toffee, and it's very, very nice and so pretty. Like it's, look at here, it's a cream, and there it is right there. So that's the foundation, and then when you put it on, there you go. And then it dries up to a powder, hopefully. Y'all can see that because it blends in so good. Love this, and I will be using this. Um in the next few looks that I'm going to create. So, really like that. So, that's a new product there. Oh, yeah, another new product. It's by Beauty Creations. I love Beauty Creations. Y'all know how I like the, uh, what is it, the Flawless Stay Foundation by Beauty Creations. This one here. Love this foundation. It's so full coverage. Amazing. So, I got the uh, Beauty Creations Flawless Stay hydrating primer um it looks like this and i use that today and a great base is always good if you want great results as far as makeup results okay you gotta start out with good skincare great base makeup base and then you will most likely have a great makeup finish so this 
I applied it onto my skin. I love how hydrating it is and how well hydrated my skin felt. So everything else just glided on my skin and smoothed out very nicely. So this is so good and I'm happy to have it, okay? So I got that product and let me see. I've got so many new products, I don't even know which one to show y'all. But I've got a good bit of products, you guys, and I'm very, very happy to have all the products that I got. I did uh, purchase the other two um, blushes that I didn't have in my collection. This is the She Makeup Dream Stain Liquid Blushes. I got one and two. I used the shade two. That's what I got on right now, this pink color. So, so nice. Um, I feel like this one is more matte. The other one is more like a creamy to matte finish, but not too matte. This one is matte. So, when I put it on, I was kind of shocked because I was thinking it was going to be somewhat creamy. But, actually, this one is more matte. And I use this. This is a shade number two. And then this one is shade number one. But anyways, I got one and two. So now I got all of these Dream Stain blushes that are sold on this website, which is a beauty supply store. So it's by the brand She Makeup. So yeah, you guys, I love them. And y'all know, y'all have seen those. So I don't have to talk too much. They're very uh, pigmented. My blush is still on and doing so good. And so, yeah, you guys, I thought I'd come over here and just share some of these products with y'all. Um, not showing y'all everything. It would take a long time for me to show y'all every single thing that I got. But I got a few new palettes and things like that. Eyeshadow palettes. Uh, but I thought I'd just show y'all a little bit of what I got. And just look forward to some makeup looks at some point y'all but right now once again i'm just getting ready for um getting my new place and everything getting everything together like kind of getting a head start so um i will be ready when time comes for me to get my new place and have more space and room and get ready to do more fashion However, y'all know I'm going to come in here and create some type of video from time to time. I feel like I'm going to get to the fashion. Um, but basically, I'm just kind of gathering my clothes right now. So, uh, we'll see you guys. But anyways, I hope y'all like this video. I enjoy creating it. I mean, oh my gosh. Like, I'm so excited about this new makeup. I feel like... I feel like, I feel like, you know what, I've got these amazing products and now for me to declutter the older makeup that I have on my previous makeup, it's not going to be a problem because I love all of my new makeup. Everything is working really good and if something didn't work out, it's like maybe one item out of the order or something. So majority of the products is working really, really great. Um, really happy about that. And so yeah, you guys, I thought I'd come over here and say hello, hi. I hope everyone's doing okay and I'm thinking about y'all. So just hold on a little while longer and y'all gonna see some you know some fashion in a little while and i also miss creating my fashion on my original channel gotta do a video over there but anyways you guys i appreciate y'all and thank y'all for everything and i will see y'all my next one much love care kindness peace joy and happiness to everyone and i will see y'all in my next one y'all take care of yourselves okay bye bye <laughs>